All right, everybody. So, we've been following the Tate case for a while now. If you've looked at, like, the Andrew Tate red pill sphere, you'll have noticed that in the case of Andrew Tate's uh, sex trafficking charges, which have actually had a lot more added on to them, by the way. In fact, several minors, women who were underage and quite young, um, have come out and the charges of sex trafficking minors have been added um, to the, the things that are being investigated. Right now, the Tates are under investigation. They have been detained for as long as you can legally detain someone in Romania, and they've been under house arrest for as long as, uh, for as far as I know. However, in regards to many of their other crimes that have ta taken place and been done and been found out outside of Romania, I mean, Bro's in trouble in a lot of places. He's desperate to escape to Dubai, where they won't extradite him and he won't be in any trouble and he can live his, like, super luxurious Bugatti, uh, sex worker, OnlyFans girl, tiger pooping life, uh, or whatever he wants to have in Dubai. Um, but he can't quite get there because they know he's a flight risk and they're holding on to him. Now, if you've seen Andrew Tate fans or Red Pillars talk about this, you'll have heard them say, they let him out of jail. They, they couldn't get him on anything. They had no evidence. They just dropped it. That's why you don't hear about it anymore. And the reason why those people haven't heard about it anymore, it, Bugoy, is because um, Andrew Tate has stopped talking about it. After he got let out of jail and put on house arrest, he said, See, they've got nothing on me. They had to let me go because they got nothing on me. I'm free to go. I'm an innocent man. I'm a completely innocent man and the truth will come out. And so he's basically told his audience he's off the hook and that he's got nothing to worry about anymore as like the ultimate strong arm bluff to try and convince them that he did nothing wrong, he's innocent, and he will not be sent to jail. However, here's the thing. The law doesn't care, and law enforcement doesn't care about whether or not Andrew Tate's fans think he's innocent. And multiple women in the UK, now this isn't even counting the stuff happening in, in Romania, by the way, but multiple women in the UK are now working with e attorneys to sue Andrew Tate and press criminal charges on, ca on counts of rape. Multiple women, I think like five or something like that. Like it's a surprise, like a pretty high amount of women. And this is all on top of the stuff happening in Romania. This guy is going to be bouncing between countries to go to court. And he's going to be spending the time in between in cells. And after it's all over, he's finally going to know how many potential decades he's going to have to spend in prison. He's going to have to spend decades in prison. I guarantee you. By the end of all this, the Tate brothers in particular, like, like, just, like both of them, but Andrew Tate especially, they are going to spend decades in prison. In, in Britain and in Romania, it would seem. <laughs> They're going to be in cells, just like their fans, exactly. All right. So here is a Sky News report. Came out just today on the news. The Tate brothers have been detained once again, and it seems they're going to be extradited to the UK. Romania has approved their extradition request. Hours after their arrest, the Tate brothers, Tristan first, then Andrew, were taken into court for the extradition hearing. According to a lawyer who's planning civil action against them in the UK, there was a suspicion they were about to flee Romania. The brothers deny that. We wrote to the, to the UK authorities last week um, off the back of information we'd received that Tate was planning to flee Romania. We alerted the UK authorities and we, we made a plea that if they were going to act, that they act now before Tate has a chance to evade justice in Romania and also the UK. In Bucharest for the past two years, the Tates have been fighting charges of rape and human trafficking brought by Romanian women. Now, the brothers face new and similar allegations from British women in claims made... You have to understand, this is just the beginning. Countless women from all around the world were sex trafficked by the Tate brothers. The entire business centered around getting women flown out from around the world to his compound so that he could overlook them in real life and, and garnish their funds. Um, 
as they as he forces them to do sex work for him and as they act as his girlfriends quote unquote that was the entire business model it's called the lover boy method it is one of the most common forms of sex trafficking that there is and it has become the bread and butter of sex traffickers in the internet age to Bedfordshire police. It's basically internet pimping. Peace. You. you arrest again? Why? The judge approved the UK extradition, but it won't happen until the Romanian charges have been dealt with. My soul is not for sale, neither are my principles. We are innocent men. No, we're very innocent men. I've been asking Romanian courts to go to the UK myself. I've asked five times and been declined, so now I get to go home. That is objectively not true. The place he has been trying to go to is Dubai. The brother's lawyer spoke outside court. You must bear in mind that at the time when the foreign authorities issue such an arrest warrant, the description of the facts is rather brief and rather incomplete. It seems that we are talking about acts that were allegedly committed many years ago. What happened to Tate's cancer? It was fake. It was completely fake. It was um, he attempted to use a doctor that he had paid off that was like a friend of his uh, to claim that he had a mass in his chest so that he could, quote unquote, be extra like go to Dubai so he could uh, like go to his doctor because his doctor was in Dubai, as he claimed. And so the idea was he would try to use a medical issue that was made up. He, he didn't have a mass in his chest. Um, it was like some fucking like polyp or something that's like a regularly occurring thing he's always had it wasn't like anything new he knew what it was it wasn't cancer it was a lie it was made up um and it was it didn't require any medical response or something like that and um yeah he tried to go back to dubai with that excuse but they knew what he was doing and they didn't let him go over 10 years andrew tate is also facing a uk civil action Four women claim he raped them, old allegations that were investigated by Hertfordshire police, but later dropped. The Tate brothers deny all allegations against them. They're banned from leaving Romania, but that restriction is the subject of their next court battle. Martin. So, this is what's happening now. They are currently in even hotter shit than they have been as of late. However... Who do you think the informant was? Who do you think the person was that let slip the Tate brothers were planning on leaving the country? Aiden Ross was told by Andrew Tate what his, like like what Andrew's plan was, what the Tate brothers planned to do. And Aiden Ross is such a fucking idiot who likes to name drop all the time and make himself sound relevant and cool. You know, this guy's go-to insult is, you're irrelevant, you're irrelevant, bruh. And so um, he name drops a lot to try to keep himself, like, sounding relevant. And he accidentally lets slip what Andrew Tate's plan is to flee Romania, something he's legally not allowed to do. And this is what has been said by investigators in the UK to get them to speed up the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the process for agreeing to extradition to the UK before Andrew Tate can leave. Um, Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big. And it's never, it's, I'm sorry, he said it's not, it's basically now or never. Um, so... You know, you know, and this is just, I told you guys this year, you know, it's a week of content, right? Um, and again, guys, this might be the last time we ever do this. So it's kind of like we got to take advantage of it now because, hey, bro. Jesus Christ, look how fast his chat goes. Good God. For those that don't know, though, he, he is a kick streamer and kick has, uh, like, is like mostly bots. Like, most of Sneeko and Aiden Ross's chat are bots when you look at their engagement on twitter and on any other platform than kick or whatever they're wherever they're live streaming their followers their engagement on everything else does not correlate with how quick their chat moves and how many viewers they have on their streams it's all w and l chatters too exactly when the bots just have to say w or l that's that's very easy to pull off like, a lot of people, I think even Destiny, who's, like, buddies with these guys, not really buddies, but, like, non, 
non outright hostile with them is like no they're totally botting like and i d dude was one of the first streamers there was i trust him if he says somebody is botting um yeah Sneko and uh aiden ross all these people very clearly botting but there is just a lot of people that watch this content still but it is very much falling off especially as the tate brothers get into deeper and deeper legal trouble the whole like Tate Matrix escape thing. I mean, even Twitter, you don't see as much of it anymore. It's not like it's being suppressed on there. Like, Elon Musk is an anti red pill. It's just not as popular as, like, the current culture war talking points. Again, guys, this might be the last time we ever do this. So it's kind of like we got to take advantage of it now because, hey, bro, it's, it's, it's just, it's basically like, yeah, it's like that. Um, and then, um, so yeah. Aiden Ross fucked over Andrew Tate. I gotta admit, it doesn't get funnier than that. That is actually fucking hilarious. And in case you're wondering, like, what is the verification of this? We contacted the British police to alert them to this and immediately issue a warrant for his arrest in Romania and deportation to the UK. Jack Beeston, one of the lawyers, tells Afton Bladet, Bladet, Bladet uh, William Afton, that they saw a video on the social media platform Twitter where it appears that Tate told the streamer profile Aiden Ross that he will leave Romania soon and not come back. The lawyers are representing Tate's for uh, alleged British victims. The accusations in Great Britain relate to sexual abuse between the years of 2012 and 2015. They've been at this for a very long time. The massive explosion in the popularity of the Tate brothers online is just sort of like a tail end of their career thing, believe it or not. Most of their money and like influence was gained before they even blew up on the internet. It's really fucking crazy how long they got away with doing this stuff, and it took, it, it took them becoming worldwide famous for justice to be done after, like, over a decade of sex trafficking women, particularly minors. That's the really, like, the really huge cherry on top is that all these people that watch this type of content, they love calling trans people, like, groomers and pedophiles. Meanwhile, Andrew Tate was literally sex trafficking minors. But because they have to hold up with the whole Me Too has gone too far talking point, even when it comes to kids being sex trafficked, they have to say, oh, no, he's innocent, he's innocent, it's all made up. Which just very clearly indicates how much they don't believe in or care about anything, not even the kids they claim to care about trying to protect.